now we will test which is more, more fuel efficient to coast in gear or coast in neutral and the test starts from 80 km per hour speed and first uh, with engine brake Some so zero and my speed is staying the same all the time but when my speed starts to stop when the downhill ends I will have to start pressing a gas and when I start to do that the fuel consumption will start to rise so now I'm starting to push the gas pedal and fuel consumption starts to rise already 1.6 liters in neutral and try to save as much fuel as possible. Zero the fuel consumption meter and the fuel consumption at Ido is 0.4 liters per 100 kilometers at 80 kilometers per hour speed. Now we are coming to the downhill part and the speed starts to rise because this is pretty deep downhill because in engine brake the speed didn't rise. Now we gain speed with engine brake. Now we are coming to the more level part and here we already had to push gas. Now we are still gliding over 80 km per hour speed and fuel consumption is still 0.5 liters per 100 km. Now we need to start pushing the gas and start driving 80 km per hour speed. Again it's a little bit downhill here so we can start gliding in neutral again without losing any speed at the moment and soon we will start to come to the checkpoint which are grooves on the tarmac and again need to add a little bit gas now it's 80 it's 1.1 liters per 100 kilometer with gliding and it was 1.6 liters with edge brake on you can test it easily with yourself if you don't believe me but Gliding in neutral is more fuel efficient way to travel downhills. 